Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. Thought I'd uh, make a quick little video. She has us going on the shop tonight. Got the old shaper running. Turning down a cylinder head. I got a customer that does uh, high performance mods for these little uh, engines. Uh, I'm not sure what he does with them. He makes go-karts and pulling tractors and stuff like this. So it's a pretty repeat job. And I do them in the shaper. You know, just throw it in there. Because why, why I'm doing this, I can also be grinding the valves and stuff. And other stuff. So it's a very handy uh, use for the shaper. It doesn't tie you up all the time. A good service finish there. Taking very light cut. Uh, this is the final cut. At, it's only uh, 10 thou. He has me shave off a total of about 35 thou off the whole head. Again, I don't know the application besides he does a lot of cam swaps and uh, valve spring swaps and all that stuff. You kind of never get old of seeing the shaper run. It's humming along. Yeah, if you can get into uh, doing work like this, I'm like the only person in my area that does a lot of work for on small engines. So it's kind of a niche market for me. I, you know, do everything from complete rebuilds to... Uh, stuff like this and they're easy to do so you guys with the smaller shops a good way to uh, bring in some additional income is to work on small engines and advertise that you work on small engines you get these cake jobs like this that come up every once in a while especially during the winter when you know we're typically slower I have engines I always rebuild and stuff like this and it kind of when you're off time throw something in the machine and get her done Try not to get too close so it hits the uh, <laughs> camera out of, out of my hand. Make a nice chip there. Again. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm stretched out there a bit. Yeah, very cool. Showing you guys some of the day-to-day -day stuff. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.